I would like you to follow out and give us more parade and also collect a rifle and show the world that you can do it. Hello guys, welcome once again to Think Tank TV. Now, while we are busy constructively criticizing the President Bola Maitino's administration about the arraignment of minors in Abuja, giving them terrorism charge, another one has happened and this time around it is in the southeastern part of Nigeria. Now, earlier today, I stumbled on a video of the Eastern Security Network, who are the agitators of Biafra in the southeastern part of Nigeria, who has gone ahead to recruit minors. I don't even think these guys are up to 15 or 16 years. They've been recruited into the Eastern Security Network, all in a bid to show the Nigerian government that they are ready to resist them by all means. Now, I strongly criticize this, and like I keep saying to people, that we'll keep criticizing those who do bad in society and appreciating those who do good in society. I'm going to be showing you what happened to that about 15 to 17 years old that has been recruited into this Eastern Security Network as they have gone ahead to empire him with AK-47, AK-49. And that was a very mind-boggling video. But before I do that, I want to jump right into the reactions of Serap that has gone ahead to give the President Bola Maitinubu 48 hours to immediately release the minors who were arraigned by the court in the federal capital territory. I'd like you to take a look at the words of Serap and I'll be coming back to show you the video of ESN recruiting minors also in the southeastern part of Nigeria. Serap said these children and other protesters are detained solely for the peaceful exercise of their human rights. The socio-economic rights and accountability project Serap has urged President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to ensure the release of all minors being detained over the August nationwide and bad government protests. Now, I'd like to do well to commend Sarah for most of the action. It's actually a non-governmental organization that has been doing their best to put the government and the political class on their toes. I would like you to fall out and give us more parade and also collect a rifle and show the world that you can do it. Fall out immediately. Oh, you want, uh, you want to handle double magazine? Ah, well. We can do it very perfect. Don't you us how, can, how we can do it? Because I have recorded your success where you have followed the men on duty to make sure that there is peace in our so local government. You are one of the, the soldiers that fought and drive the military out of the land. So show the world that you are good to go by giving us a one gun salute. Allow him. Right. You are good to go. This is to show the world that we have men that can do it. This is a double magazine AK 47 or 49. So this to show you what we have on the ground. One of our soldiers is equivalent to 50 Nigeria men. They don't have men. If they really have men, let them come out and show themselves. Let them stop hiding and burning people's houses and terrorizing innocent people. Let them come inside the bush. Let them come inside the bush. Stop burning people's houses. There is no houses in the bush. Those things you are showing the world is innocent people you are killing. If you can see where we are, we are inside the forest. There is nothing like a building here. You can look around. You see everywhere is forest. We have been in the forest since the existence of Eastern Security Network. Our duty is to drive the terrorists out of our motherland, which is the Afran land. The entire old eastern region. Thank you so much for watching. You've seen it for yourself, and our duty is to continually make sure that we call these guys up when they take such actions. How can you go ahead to begin to recruit a child that is less than 18 years? I don't think that child, that guy, is up to 18 years to begin to carry arms. What if he does not understand the implications of that and begins to use it on people recklessly? What would we say? Now, a lot of people have been talking about this as this is the same thing we are seeing when the northern part of Nigeria were trying to do well to cause violence in the northern part of Nigeria. Today, what is it not like economically and otherwise? There's nobody that will be willing to go and invest in such a place. And who is suffering for it? It is not the southerners, it is not the easterners, it is not the westerners. It is the same northerners. 
And that is why we keep saying to the Biafra agitators that the issue of coming out to say that uh, sit at home can never be the solution to this issue because what are you doing? Economic viability of that place. And at the end of the day, it's not even the government of the nation that will suffer it. It is the people of Biafra that will suffer it. There are different ways that your agitations can be put forward for the government to see and look into it, not by shooting yourself on the toe, not by sustaining yourself with injuries. The same thing that happened in the northern part of Nigeria today, today their, their economic viability is very low. So those in charge of the BFR agitations must do well to ensure that they look into such critical issues to ensure that they are not shooting themselves in the leg. Please, we'd love you to do what to drop your own thoughts in the comment section. Let's get to know what you think about the continuous action of ESN, Biafra and the Nigerian government and we shall continue to be here to serve you.